Okay, in this presentation, we are going to look at the Pareto type one distribution. There's another one of these presentations that's quite similar. The Pareto type one distribution and its counterpart, the Pareto type two distribution, are often used in actuarial and financial mathematics, and quite often the students of actuarial exams will be looking at those. So the random variable X is an insurer's annual hurricane related loss. Now that might give an actuarial student a clue that this might be a Pareto distribution. Okay, one of the two. Suppose, oh sorry, I didn't mean to write that in there. Just ignore that. Suppose that the density function of X is given by F of X equal to 2.2 times 250 to the power of 2.2 and divided by X to the power of 3.2 where x is greater than 250, and zero otherwise. Now, this is how we sort of deduce that it is a Pareto type 1 distribution. First off, there's a set minimum, xm, okay, small xm, okay, and also the general structure of the probability density function. So there's alpha and xm, here alpha, is 2.2 here we have alpha here times xm to the power of alpha 2.2 divided by x to the power of alpha plus 1 alpha plus 1 is equal to 3.2 okay so it's a bit of deduction to sort of say that this is the Pareto type 1 distribution but essentially once you're familiar with these and are sort of expecting them, you know, you should sort of expect it. So calculate the mean and the median of the annual hurricane related loss. Okay. So here are the formulae, the formulas even, the mean and the median, which is what we're going to have a look at. Also, it's not particularly important, the mode and the variance. Okay. The mode is actually XM and we already know that to be 250. Okay, the variance, I'll be honest with you, x squared, xm squared times alpha divided by alpha minus one squared times alpha minus two for x greater than two. It's a bit of a long one. It's not particularly difficult, actually. So anyway, we'll just sort of stick with the main two. The mean, by inspection, we know that the xm is 250 and alpha is 2.2. And we know that for the conditions here, these conditions, alpha greater than one, alpha greater than two, that we do fulfill the con these conditions, alpha is greater than one and alpha is greater than two. Okay, so the expected value, the mean is alpha times xm divided by alpha minus one. Okay, and that is 2.2 times 250 divided by 2.2 minus 1, 550 divided by 1.2, and that is 458.33. The median is xm to the power for the 2.2 uh, root of 2, okay? If you're trying to figure out how to do that in the calculator, that is 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2.2, okay? Hopefully you should know that, but sometimes you forget these things. So X ti XM times the alpha root of 2 is 250 times the 2.2 root of 2. Okay, so that's 2 to the power of 1 over 2.2. Okay, so that's 250 times 3 point, sorry, 1.3703. And there we get the answer of 342.575, okay? So those are the two main answers, okay? The mode is actually just XM, 250. That's straightforward enough. I didn't really go in for the variance here. You can do it. It's actually just um, putting in the values 2.2 and 250 and working through it there. Think about these distributions. Is what variance is not really, you know used a lot so it's more the quantiles you're interested in but just as a sort of little exercise i just put it in there you just put in alpha and xm and just work it out and you get this number here 477,430.6 okay so that's units squared you get the 
you know, you can get the um, square root of that for the variance. Okay. Anyway, so those are the two main answers here and here. And just spell it out. And if you are given units, just express it in the units. The mean is 458.33 units and the median is 342.575 units. So on. Okay. Okay, we'll leave it there.